In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four infographic options in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first option. So you can see here I have added a rectangle and here in the background also I have added one more rectangle with a blue color. Then you can add your option number, the title, the detail text along with the icon. When I click, it will come uh, option 2, option 3 and option 4 and I have created one more slide with three options and different animations. So here it comes first option, second option and third option. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light gray color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles, choose the rectangles rounded corner, just draw a rectangle and you can see the small orange point, just drag this outside so it becomes less curved shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color all right so again depending on the requirement if you like to increase the height or width you can just do that one okay and make sure to align center align middle now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d all right and then i'm going to give some different color combination here maybe i'm going to give a green and put it exactly on top of this you can see here and then rotate a little bit like this all right and then send this to back so we end up getting a shape something like this again if you want to make it more curve so you can just increase the size and it becomes more curve at the corners all right again if you want to adjust or reduce the size you know you can just do that as well if you want to reduce the weight of this so once this is done go to insert shape select the oval shape just click it here make the height and width as maybe 0.7 all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill the same green color then right mouse click go to the format shape and under format shape go to the effects under effects go to the shadow presets scroll it down and you can see inner select the bottom right and done and place it at the right place here exactly at the top right corner and then go to the insert shapes select one more oval shape draw a oval shape something like this shape outline no outline shape fill make it black then go to the fill transparency color maybe it's to 70 percent then go to the effects under effects go to the soft edges and increase the soft edges all right and place it exactly below the green rectangle here all right so it's giving us some shadow effect if you want to reduce the size you can just reduce the size as well and if you like to give the less transparency more darker shadow you can reduce the transparency effect as well so once this is done go to insert text box i'm going to put the option as option number zero one i'm going to use the open sans extra bold fonts increase the size i'm going to give the same green color and put it in the corner left side then go to the insert text box type title here you can <coughs> sorry you can replace this with your title make it green i'm going to use open sans semi bold font i can make the font size to 16 then go to insert text box and add some detail text here equals a low rem within bracket one and i don't want this much large text so i'm going to delete some of it reduce the font size and give some different color here maybe gray font size i'm reducing to 14 if you want you can justify this and align it properly and in this particular small 
oval shape you can just go to the insert click on the icons and you can insert any icon of your choice so in this case i'm just going to choose some random icon all right so again make sure that if you don't want to use the icon don't use it but just for the sake of using and giving all together a different icon which is not related to the text will not add any value uh, otherwise you know it actually it looks more bad all right so make sure that you choose the relevant icons just don't copy what i am copying here it's taking some time so i'm just going to choose any icon maybe just click here click insert and i'm going to reduce the size to maybe 0.6 and color i'm going to make it as a white and put it exactly here align it properly all right so once this is done i can just select all the objects press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl shift key just add it one to the right one to the left and one to the right all right only three options i'm just typing here i'm, I'm doing it here so this is my option number two and this is my option number three now you can just choose any color of your choice sorry control z choose this one give orange color and here also i'm going to give orange color then comes here maybe i can give some purple color here let me just select only this one and give some purple color here also i'm going to give purple and here also i'm going to give the orange and here also orange now this side this and this i'm going to choose the purple color all right so you can see here now it's if you want to replace the icon just go and choose the icon go to the graphic format change graphic from icons again choose some relevant icon so i'm just going to choose a icon maybe uh, this one and click insert so you can see here the icon got inserted and if you want to do some basic animation effect that also can be done so for this what you can do is i can first of all ungroup this one all right so now i'm going to group only this part all right only this part press ctrl g to group it you can see here i've grouped only this one so here also you have to do the same thing just group only this one first of all ungroup ctrl shift g to ungroup okay so now i'm just going to select this and this and press ctrl g and here also press ctrl g to group it go to the animations enable the animation pane so the first here i'm going to choose i'm going to make it fly in you can see here fly in comes from the door and then this one i can go to add animation more entrance effects i can make it stretch click ok and that should happen after previous and this one should be fade effect and this should happen after previous as well so if i play it comes something like this all right so now using the animation painter select the animation first of all select the object click on the animation painter and click it here then select the second one animation painter do this then the shadow effect copy it here then comes this all right so you can see here or if you want to give some different animation also it can be done so it's not necessary that you should follow the animations what i selected here so if i play it comes something like this